looking at example four, section 7.2. Uh, so this is just another indefinite integral with substitution. Uh, so we're going to want to kind of look at the substitution, the form of the integral below that example. Um, we're looking for a function or an integral that has the function on the bottom and the derivative of the function on the top. Typically, um, we can just kind of follow the idea of uh, let's let u be either the thing that's in the parentheses, the thing that's in the denominator, the thing that's under the radical. So if we do that here, if we say let u is equal to x squared plus 6x, and then we go ahead and find the derivative of that. Remember, the, it's du dx, and we can take the derivative, and then we multiply both sides by dx. So we get, uh, just doing both of those things at the same time, we'll get this. So du is equal to 2x plus 6 uh, dx. Don't forget the dx. The dx is important because it's the dx, same dx that we're going to see here. So now we just have to compare what we see. We've taken care of the denominator here. What we want to do now is see what's left, what's in the numerator here. That dx is actually considered to also be in the numerator since it's uh, sort of tacked onto the outside there. Uh, it's pretty close to what we see here. So what we can do is just factor a 2 out of that thing. So we'll get 2 times x plus 3 dx. That's the du. Now that 2, that 2 is not there. So we don't really need to see that with part of the dx. So the way that we get rid of it is by dividing. So we'll see 1 half du is equal to x plus 3 dx. OK? So now that x plus 3 dx, that is exactly the same as what we see in the numerator here. So what we're going to see, let me maybe use a different color here to see what's going on here. Uh, this numerator part here, the dx and the x plus 3, that's what we see here, x plus 3 and the dx. That is going to turn into 1 half du, OK? So this is 1 half du, OK? And then the denominator, that, we use a different color still, that is going to be just the u, OK? So this is u. All right, now if we put these things together, that it gives us a new um, integral in terms of u. And so what we'll see, I'll put the 1 half in front, so we get 1 half. The du is the, all that's left there, and that's in the numerator. And then what do we see in the denominator? u, OK? So as we remember, du over u, that antiderivative is just natural log of u, absolute value of u plus a constant. And then the last thing we do is just uh, replace that u with what it is. Separate that a little bit. That'll be 1 half the natural log of, uh, what did we say u was? x squared plus 6x plus the constant. OK. So we found that antiderivative using substitution. Let's do example 5 now. These are not that long, so we can do two of them on one. Uh, so this one is asking us to find x squared e to the power of x squared uh, 